again, it is Cami from the blog Tidbits at tidbits-cami.com. So I am learning that even the mere thought of curb appeal on a new home build can be extremely overwhelming. We are pretty much staring at piles of dirt, but we are taking it one baby step at a time, starting with the front of our garage exterior. I'd like to take you along to see what we have done so far, share some design ideas with you, and show you how it turns out. It is such a blessing for me to have this video sponsored by The Home Depot as part of their 2019 paint program. We have definitely used paint for the, some of this project to bring in some unique color to our garage doors. And I will share all those details with you as well as tell you about the paint selection tools and trends that make choosing color much easier for what is sometimes a very overwhelming job. There are a couple of reasons why we are turning our focus on the exterior of the home. One, old man winter is coming. And two, the front of our detached garage in particular is the very first thing you see when you pull up from the road. This is perhaps not ideal, but it was the best solution for this spot of land. Even if this is just a garage, I hope to make it a lovely view. A little bit about our siding and roofing. We opted for still roofing and siding for its longevity and maintenance features. The white siding is bent and formed into a vertical batten treatment, which I find to be very lovely and classic. The still roofing is a lovely shade combining blue, green, and gray. It changes tones throughout the day and according to the weather and we, we think it's really fun to watch. So if you want to hear more about our siding and roofing, let me know and I can do a detailed video if there's any interest. While things slowly progressed on our house, this garage front sat unfinished for way too long due to the delivery of the still being greatly delayed and then contractors not showing up when they say they will. This is a constant problem that we seem to be facing as we have assumed the role as the general contractors, but from my chats with other home builders, this tends to be a common problem. My husband eventually hired some buddies to help him get this part of the home done himself. We also added some trim around the garage door stalls and prepped for the concrete driveway, which will be poured next week. Let me tell you a little bit about my garage door style decision. Now my husband was shocked to silence when I picked one of the most affordable basic garage styles. <laughs> we constantly joke that usually what I want is hard to find and expensive. <laughs> we are learning a lot of compromising skills during this building process. Now we opted to try out a very basic flush panel garage door style. There's no windows, there's no custom carriage house details, it's just very, very basic. I felt with a little bit of paint and ingenuity we could make this door style look refined and minimalistic and slightly different from all the other garage doors that you see in new homes. Let's discuss the paint product we used. We selected a Bare Ultra exterior paint in a satin finish. I chose this one specifically because it mentioned many of the exterior applications, including garage doors. We've had a great experience with, pair, with bare paints before, so I didn't hesitate to use them again. When the challenge came from Home Depot to create a space using one of Bear's 2020 colored trends from their curated palette, I was delighted to see the color Light Drizzle, which is a lovely shade of soft blue gray. Now on my parts, we call this exact color Tidbits Blue. <laughs> it's one of my favorites and I knew it would be fun to play with on our garage exterior and be a perfect companion to the white on the house and the green in nature which we should have more of once we get to landscaping next year. I played around with some different tints of this color and ended up going full tint. I want to be sure you know about the digital tools that Home Depot now has to help you choose color for your home. They have created a fun app called the Project Color App that you can use to try out paint colors in spaces and even take a picture of your own space and digitally render how that color will look in your home. You can color match from images you take or find online, as well as source trending colors you might find on Pinterest or elsewhere. It's really an incredible tool and really fun to play with. I will leave three helpful links below. One 
a link right to where you can read more about the Project Color app and then a link directly to the app and I'll also link you to Home Depot page where you can explore colors and check out their interactive online tools to explore your color choices. After I purchased the supplies and paint from the Home Depot, we got all prepped to paint the garage door and the entry door. We pulled out the airless sprayer to make this job very easy. It also helped that the bare paint we selected is a paint and primer in one. So once the doors and trim were painted and installed, then the fun part began <laughs> decorating. We installed light fixtures around the doors we installed some hardware to add special detail to our otherwise basic doors. Then I took advantage of some of the off-season cells on some evergreen plants, which we will keep potted through the winter and plant in the spring. I would love to know what you think about our new and improved garage curb appeal <laughs> design details. Let's chat in the comments below. It's so rewarding to check this project off our list and shift our focus into the interior of the home and get it ready for us to move into. If you haven't already seen my previous videos about this home building adventures, be sure to watch all about our whole barn home plans and why we are building a home this way. You may also be interested to watch our plans for our dream 25 acres of property that we have just fallen in love with and cannot wait to call it home. Thank you so much for watching and reading. Be sure to follow me along to watch our home come together and for more inspiration for do-it-yourself living.